Hi everyone. So first of all, warm welcome to our uh, webinar sessions for project management life cycles. So agenda for today discussion is uh, we're going to talk about uh, what is project management and what is PNP and PMP certifications. What are the different uh, life cycles are available in project management? So let's talk about what is project management, right? So if you start up any projects, if you if you go to any sector, like not only for IT sector, if you go to automobile, if you go to any organizations, right? So they have to initially they have to plan their work. Like without planning, they cannot uh, succeed or they cannot uh, do success in the market, in the organizations in the world, right? So they have to plan what are the task and what are the operations and what are the different scope of the project they have to do. Everything they have to plan it initially. So as part of project planning, first of all, they have to plan what kind of task and there's any risk identifications. Like if you do this one, what kind of risk we are going to get it, different types of risk and how do we mitigate those risk during the project planning session? So next important point is the communications. So we need to effectively communicate to the corresponding clients and stakeholders who are using our projects, right? So on each and every stages in the projects like a development phase, testing phase, production implementation phase, right? So in each and every phases, we need to communicate to the corresponding stakeholders who are using our projects. And finally, we need to do the timeline maintenance and uh, cost. We need to utilize the cost effectively during each and every phases. So basically we need to take care of all the steps, like from the risk mitigations and what are different roles, basically the different roles we need to have it in the project, right? So we have a BA role, we have this uh, developer individual contributor roles and tester role. We need to manage everybody, right? The resource management. That is very much important in the project management phase. So next is what is PMP? Okay, first of all, let's see what is PMP. So PMP is a project management uh, professional certification course. So this is the external certifications. So this is uh, globally recognized by all the organizations. So once we complete the certifications, so basically, right, once we complete the PMP course for middle makeup, we can easily clear this uh, certifications. So why PMP? So what are benefits the employee going to get it once we complete, the, complete this uh, certifications, right? So we'll get a lot of uh, opportunities. So once we complete the program, once we complete this program, plus the certifications, right? So you will be recognized uh, like all the organizations, so we can easily get uh, grab these opportunities. Second one is uh, recognitions. So once we uh, maybe if we're currently the projects, so if you want to become a PM, if you want to become project manager, you can easily switch over your role from individual contributor to the PMP in the project management contributions. Next one is uh, definitely we can increase our skill set. Like maybe once we once we experience are going up, right, going increasing. Definitely, we need to increase our skill set in the different uh, technologies, technology plus the management side. Like this is very much uh, important for all the experienced people roles, right? And we can easily integrate to the, we can easily collaborate with our leadership management team so that we can easily communicate what kind of phases in the projects, right? We can easily collaborate with our management team, the leadership teams. So these are benefits the employee will get it once we complete this PMP certifications. Definitely, uh, it is not restricted to only for one industry, like either uh, if you come to PMP, you cannot work only for the IT industry, not like that. You can go for any organization, right? So any companies, any sectors, maybe industrial sectors, automobile sectors, and uh, trans anything, right? So insurance, any, any sector, you can go and apply for this PMP rules. So basically, this is the cross industry rules, not only for IT sector rules. So what employer will get it. So whatever we discussed as of now, right, that is employee benefits, like if our individual benefits, right? So what employer, the company or organization they're going to get the benefits. So once we execute the project successfully, once you complete the project, once you execute the project phase in each and every success manner, definitely we'll get the customer satisfactions who is using our end, end product, like the stakeholder communication, right? Okay, they'll get the customer satisfactions, uh, will be I. So, and they can improve the work culture so that uh, they can deliver the projects. They can very structured manner. And also once we implement the project on time, right? Uh, they can increase the culture, work culture and how we can deliver our project to the end user. Yeah, these are the benefits the employee get it. Okay, and also the success rate, right? So once we got the customer satisfactions, once we once our project got implemented in the 
correct manner to the production environment, definitely we have a success ratio will get increased. Maybe success criteria, right? That is very much important in any of the projects. So usually, right, we'll have a three status, right? Red, amber, and green status, right? So usually, if a if a project is everything tracked on track in the each and every phases, right? So we'll get the success ratio will be higher. So these are the benefits that the employer will get it. Next is we'll talk about what are the different structured way of learning in Edureka, the PMP certifications. What are the different modules are available and what are the objective each and every module we can talk about. So this is the roadmap about uh, the PMP certification program. So basically this contains almost six different modules. So in the module one, we're gonna talk about uh, introduction to PMP certifications and what are the concepts and what are the different objective in the PMP certification we're going to talk about in the module one. In module two, how do we create high performance team to deliver the product, to deliver the success ratio of the project, right? How we can perform the high performance team so that uh, in a team itself, right? How we can deliver all the component in the projects. Suppose, simple example, I want to deliver end-to-end -end projects, right? Like data load, I'm, I'm giving simple example, okay? So I want to do the data extractions, data load, and then reportings, finally visualization, right? So basically, I'm going to have a database knowledge plus ETL knowledge plus reporting skill knowledge, right? So if you have all the team member, so if you have a team member knowledge for all these three technologies, they can develop high performance team, right? So basically they can deliver the project end to end for the data virusing technologies, right? So how do we create high performance team? How do we form the teams? And then starting the projects and do the work on, the on time like and also uh, track the uh, team performance the team task what are the tasks they're doing on it track it and each and every phases in the projects the planning phase testing phase integration phase and deployment phase each and track each and every phases in the projects what are the teams they're doing on the day-to-day -day activities finally how we can effectively communicate to the users end users or the stakeholders for the business point of view, right? So finally, they are the one, they're going to use our project. How do we communicate? How do we make the good communications to the stakeholders? So this is a complete uh, roadmap about this PMP programs. Okay, let's talk about life cycle of the project management. Like there are four different life cycles from initiate, initiate life sync phase until the closure. So we're just starting the phase, we're just initializing the projects. So the what are the different uh, teams has to be collaborate and what are the requirement gathering and uh, the stakeholder get the input from the users all those things the initial project initialization phase and planning phase so once the initialization is done you need to go for the planning so like what are the different technology we have to plan how many resources is required and uh, what are the different uh, technologies different uh, uh, documentation, the different requirement we have to gather from the users, right? So we need to plan all those things in very in well and advance. So once the planning is done, so next is the execution phase. Like uh, we need to execute our projects in the different phases: development phase, testing phase, and then uh, migration phase, right? Ex so the monitoring phase. So once we, this is mainly for implementation phase, I would say, right? Once the implementations are completed, we need to make, so once we get the uh, business sign off, the user sign off, the stakeholder communication uh, informed and get the corresponding response from the users, the positive response, I would say, not a negative response. Once we get a positive response, finally, we need to have the closure phase, like uh, the project is successfully implemented and we can close the, the PMP tools, the, the project management tool, PPRT, some large, different tools are there, depending on the organizations, right? So this is a different life cycle. There are four different life cycle under this project management phase. So let's move on. Uh, that's what we discussed, right? We have initialization phase, planning phase, right? And then uh, monitoring phase, and then closure of the projects. So that's the detailed one, like uh, what we discussed, right? So this is for uh, defining the projects, how many resources we have to committed, like not only for uh, human resource, right? The software, also right so what kind of uh, hardware you have to buy and uh, what is uh, what kind of software we have to record for the projects and all those things has to be initial 
has to be considered in the initial phase, right? After that, the planning, like the how much time it, it has to take, like the uh, cost, like the budgeting. Budgeting very much important. And based on the cost, we need to allocate the resources, the human resource that is called uh, manpower resource plus the, the server and uh, software resources. Okay, so once we're planning very well planned, right? We can mitigate, we can manage a lot of risk in the project, right? Suppose, let's take an example. So the resource, uh, so we have a reporting requirements in the project, right? Let's see some of the, I want to visualize some of the reports, maybe the charts to the business user, right? So we didn't plan it initially, the corresponding software, either uh, Tableau or Cognos or some of the reporting tool, we didn't, we didn't plan it initially. We didn't allocate any budget for it, right? The cost for it. Definitely that will uh, make it the risk in the project, right? Because we cannot successfully implement all the phases in the project, right? Sorry, all the requirement to the clients because we load the data, but after that we need to present the data to the user, right? So the presentation part is missing here. So, so everything has to be considered in the planning phase, like resource, human power resource, as well as the software resources. And then uh, monitoring each and every phase in the projects, right? If monitoring not in place properly, so we'll have a slippage, right? Suppose, I want to complete the project within two iterations in the agile mode, right? So basically I have to complete in the four weeks, each iteration of two weeks, right? I have to complete the project in the four weeks of time. Okay. I have to complete the project in the four weeks of time. So if, if the project is not tracked properly, right? So what will happen? So if you're not monitoring, monitoring properly, so definitely we won't have a success ratio, right? So we need to track, we need to monitor each and every phases in the projects. Track, review, get the review, review comment from the user, right? And then finally, user got agreed, all the requirements are satisfied with our initial planning, initial requirement given, right? We need to execute our project. Basically, we need to productionize our project to the live environment, okay? And then finally, closure one. This is a very simple one. Like, so once uh, our project got implemented, so we'll have some production warranty phase. So we'll give it either a two months or one month of time to the users with the production warranty. After that, we can close the projects in the project management tool. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you all. Thanks for joining this uh, webinar uh, sessions. Thank you.